Vic Carucci, Jay Skirsky, day number nine of Buffalo Bills training camp practice here at St. John Fisher. Headline, Cordy Glenn comes back to practice after missing a couple of days with a sore foot. Went and got a second opinion on that. Not out of the woods, though, it seems, Jay. Even though he practiced today, Sean McDermott saying that it's day-to-day -day with Cordy Glenn. So this is something that we're still going to monitor. Yeah, it seems like they're going to the, – the true test here is going to come after practice and how it reacts. Now, we watched pretty closely. It didn't seem to me like Cordy Glenn missed even a single rep of team, uh, team drills, 11-on-11 drills, which is unusual because he had been sitting out – uh, you know, quite a few of those. We've seen Chantrell Henderson with the first team a lot. Uh, I think tonight and then into tomorrow morning, we're going to learn a lot more about where Cordy Glenn is at. I think today was a, a, a tested day to go see how it reacts. And a couple of things to note, Sammy Watkins left practice early but did come back. Not 100% clear what exactly the issue was. Seemed to be foot or ankle area for him. But he did come back somewhat limited after he did return. He did make a nice contested catch in a seven-on-seven -seven drill. And Tyrod Taylor, after throwing an interception to Jordan Poyer, was favoring his left foot after that play, was on the sideline. But he, too, returned, seemed to be doing okay when he was out on the field. But all of these things can add up and very quickly you just keep an eye on them. Yeah, certainly with, with Watkins, you know, anytime he leaves practice with a trainer, that is going to ca capture people's attention, and, and rightfully so. Now, as you said, he did come back. He made a catch during 7-on-7. Seven seven. It did appear, though, that his reps were very, very limited in 11-on-11 11 11 work. We'll get an update here. I think for now we, we're pretty safe in saying that it doesn't look to be anything real serious. They would have shut him down completely if that were the case. Same deal with Taylor. He, it looked like he might have gotten his foot stepped on. He was definitely stretching it out on the sideline, but did come back in for another period of 11 on 11 work. So right now it looks like the Bills might have dodged a couple of bullets there. As far as material that we will have for you on buffalonews.com, you're working on a piece on Tyrod Taylor, and it's been uneven, it seems somewhat, his learning of this new Rick Dennison offense, but it doesn't seem as if Sean McDermott is overly concerned. In fact, seems to think his progress has been pretty good. Yeah, he, Sean McDermott said that he liked what the starting offense did Friday night during their open practice at New Era Field. I thought it was interesting last, last week to hear Taylor say, I'm still learning this system. You know, a lot of people expect because he had spent a year with Rick Dennison in Baltimore that that wouldn't be much of an issue. And I think a lot of the time that we've spent uh, and maybe fans have spent talking about the new schemes have been more geared toward the defense, the change from the 3-4 to the 4-3. But I think it bears pointing out and remembering that this offense is new, too, for a lot of these guys, the quarterback included, and there's going to be some growing pains and a learning curve for those guys the same way there is on defense. All right, that's going to wrap it up for day number nine of Buffalo Bills training camp practice. St. John Fisher for Jay Skirsky, for Jim McCoy, and yours truly urging you check back for much more, buffalonews.com.